With me, I have Roland Jack. And for those of you who do not know Roland Jack, he's been helping me with some things, things that I cannot mention behind the scenes. But it is quite hectic stuff. And, um, you know, a lot of you have been asking me for a whole lot, for a whole while, actually, that I must get people on my channel, people that I trust, people that I feel is trustworthy. And I've told you guys that I won't make a video in the sense of um, as I do with the scams, I would rather have an interview and have questions which Roland hasn't seen yet. This is my first interview. I'll be honest there. So um, excuse me if the grilling is a bit weak, but um, Roland is someone that I've built trust up with. I've met him when I was making uh, my videos of um, Clint in the past. And the things that he has helped me with, he has never, ever lied. And just the fact that he told me, listen here, um, I want to do this for free. So um, you guys will see what it's about. We will get into it shortly. But um, Roland Jack, welcome to the channel. Um, Hi. You've been a friend of the channel for a while. Now people don't yeah. know this. But welcome. Um, I'm pretty sure my audience will check out your work when we are done with this but okay. can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and about your brand wealth creatives okay so um so i've been trading for about six six seven years now i started off with iq options i'm sure you remember iq options you know binary where you get one minute to make a decision whether the market's going to go up I or down so i started off with that i started off with no trading experience uh, so basically what happened was i was giving a uh, a guy that uh, started working with me I was giving him a lift um, to the station once, and then you know he was busy on his phone, and, and he, you know and I saw these candlestick moves, and then I asked him, "Hey, what are you doing?" So he says, "No, I just made ten dollars." And I'm like, "Wow, you just made ten dollars out of how the hell did you do that so quickly?" And he's like, "No, you just need to determine whether the market's gonna go up or down in one minute." And I'm like, "Wow!" So the probabilities is you know is is fifty fifty. So I can close my eyes and I can just go, "Okay, up." And then if it closes up uh, above in one minute, then that means I'll win ten dollars. And he says, "Yes, is that easy?" Well, it wasn't as easy as he made it sound. <laughs> so I actually got on that uh, day. I went on IQ Options, opened up a demo account, and I had ten thousand fake ten thousand US dollars, and I started trading with that ten thousand. And it was a bit, a bit, a bit of a struggle because why I had no knowledge, I didn't understand. And then the first thing I did was obviously run to YouTube understand you know what what market movements is all about and the first thing i think i've learned was uh to use volumes of bands you know so if the candle leads to upper volumes of band you sell if it reads the bottom one you buy and so yeah so 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 i started all day and then i got introduced to uh you know the the you know the broader aspect uh in terms of you know moving from binary to forex in MT4 and the MT4 platform as we all know it, and then I started uh, digging into that, and then a friend of mine at work uh, referred me to Clint, and so I'm like, okay, Clint, I went on Clint Instagram because that's the first thing we do. So you go to people's Instagram, you go like, wow, yeah. there we go, that guy's going, he's flashing, and I'm like, what? You know what? You know, laying there at the end of the uh, camps bay, and I'm like, I want to be like this guy, so let me, you know. So I went through. Through Kent, I uh, did a couple of courses, which was, you know, I don't like to badmouth people, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for because I wasn't getting the, uh, the results that I was looking for. Then I did another course with uh, Mission FX, also with a guy called Nick. <coughs> Sorry, with Nick. Um, so basically, all he teaches you there is um, how to draw trend lines, how to trade uh, breakup structure, retest on the trend line. That wasn't enough for me. And then I started looking at, um, you know, extending my my knowledge, and then I uh, stumbled across uh, Nick from Italy from uh, Transparent FX. I looked at his videos. I was impressed by his market breakdown videos. You know, the COT data that he applies, and I was like, "Wow, COT data! What is COT data?" And I was like, "This is the kind of information that I need." You know, I feel like this is exactly what I need. So two uh, two years ago, I signed up with Nick uh, for his swing trading uh, course, and I also did uh, Area 50 uh, one course, which is what they call it now for the day trading strategy. And I've been with uh, the Transparent FX program for over two years now, and I've basically I've learned everything. So I learned um, how to use a Fibonacci retracement tool, how to use the Fibonacci retracement, Fibonacci extension, how to draw trend lines, how to draw uh, counter trend lines. Um, you know, market structure, price action, how to read COT data, 
and how to stack as many confluences in your favor before taking a trade and how to uh, set proper risk management as well. So I, I always believe in this. So I trade a one to three, risking 1% to make 3%. And um, yeah, so I've been applying that um, uh, consistently. And then last year, you know, throughout the pandemic, um, I opened up a signal group for the guys that was working with me, um, you know, because it was a tough time last year. So I put up a signal group and I had most of the guys was working with me and I threw them in the group and I was like, guys, you know what, let's go. Um, here's an opportunity for you guys to just follow what I do. And then towards December last year, a lot of people has asked me, you know what, don't you want to teach us how to trade? And don't you want to teach us how to trade? And I was like, okay, I don't really want to do it because it's time consuming, but if I can help someone else, why not? And then I started, um, the mentorship program with those guys and then we've been expanding um well not 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 you know on a large scale because i don't do marketing so i don't post anything well i haven't been posting anything on instagram i haven't been uh, you know showing you know profits or posting in front of my car or posting in front of a lamborghini mm -hmm. or stuff like that so i don't do stuff like that so my mark i haven't marketed so everything you know so all the students that i have is all word of mouth um and then Recently, I, um, I had one guy that signed up and he's, you know, he's, he's, he's kind of an elderly guy and he told me his story and he's like, you know what, what I want to do actually is that I'm doing this program because I would like to go out there and teach people from Mandenberg and teach people, you know, you know, go, go, go out there and, and teach a lot of people or people that lives in poverty that's unable to make money just to teach them that skill and then that's when it eats me and i'm like okay well this is something that i want to be part of and then from that day um i did a digital marketing course which i probably lost interest in you know a couple of minutes down the line <laughs> but then from there yeah so from there i decided you know what i'm gonna make you know what i want to help as much people as i can and and then that's when i started with uh, with uh, advertising well, not the advertising, I created a, well, not me, uh, a guy that's in the program, he runs a, a, a printing company. So then that's when I asked him to make a banner that says free, big free. And then all I did was I told people, tag three people, share the post, you know, once you're done, let me know and I'll send you the link. And I've been getting people to join the program. So I've got the first class coming up on the 5th of June. For yeah, so I got the first class coming up on the fifth of June, um, and the the group will be divided into two. So it will be for the more experienced people. Um, I'll do it first, and then after that for the least experienced people. So people that doesn't know anything at all, they obviously need more attention. So that's kind of the split that I'm going to do um, starting off. But the first uh, class will be done live, like this call over here, and it will be on the fifth of June. So yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay, okay. Very, very glad to hear that. Um, I've noticed that you mentioned that you've been trading for six years. And yeah. um, I've also um, noticed that you mentioned that you've been with Nick for the past two. And yeah. the fact that you have elaborated so strongly on Nick makes me feel like, um, if my math is correct, out of the six years, the last two years have been yeah. profitable. So what I would like to ask you is that um, obviously you're feeding yourself through Forex. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I always say when someone is not braggadocious about this because you do not see doctors um, posting uh, patients after a surgery, you won't of see course. lawyers making a quick live in court. <laughs> so I don't understand where this flashy stuff is coming from. And the fact that you don't um, pose in front of a car, you don't, you obviously have the means to do so, but the fact that you yeah. do not do that, no. yeah. that says a lot to <clears throat> me about you. Now, like I, um, coming back to the question that I wanted to ask, um, the last two years have been profitable, the four years haven't. Throughout the six years now, okay, let me rather, rather ask it like this, before you became profitable, no? Yeah. Can you tell me what you went through? Because obviously you've paid for these courses. You've spent money on these courses with these uh, um, different mentors. And like you said, you just weren't, you felt like you weren't getting what you paid for or what you envisioned you were going to yeah. get. Now, a lot of people must think that, oh, if I join that person, I'm going to jump in, I'm going to get rich quick. And then when it doesn't work, they get so depressed. Yeah. How did you handle that 
whole four years of not making anything. So I think uh, it always ties ties down to like like I think a, a lot of people, not just traders, but people that gets influenced by other people that that flashes cars and that likes to trade. I think there's always that sense of hope. So you always you know you would always feel like fuck you know what I'm you know I'm gonna give up or I'm gonna quit. Um, but if you've got a passion for something and you really want to do it, you're going to con- you know. Con- continuously trying to find ways to improve yourself because I always believe that there's nothing in life that cannot be conquered if if I have to say that so 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 I believe that there are professional traders out there I believe that there are people out there that's genuinely making money off this but one thing I realized that maybe I'm just surrounded by the wrong people maybe I'm looking at the wrong people and with that fact you know I continued you know to to look around, continue to go, you know, uh, 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 source new information. I should spend a lot of hours on TradingView. I even Googled, you know, the best uh, traders, you know, top traders on TradingView. Uh, <laughs> just so that I can get, yes, just so that I can get an idea of, I've, I've joined a lot of free signal groups as well. I've, I've, I've joined, um, you know, the guys, you know, I'm not going to mention any names, but the guys that consider themselves the best, you know, the best <laughs> The best in trading the Nasdaq 100 as well, and there was the sure. as well. So, and I don't want to elaborate too much on that. And I think for me, it was like, you know what, I'm gonna, you know, just, 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 just exclude myself from all of the noise, especially from the noise in South Africa, because I feel that yeah, in South Africa, people are just out there. Like, like I, I can almost guarantee you 100%, none of the traders in South Africa is actually profitable from trading. They are profitable from the money that they make from selling courses that other people are paying. And can they I sustain- just say, sorry for barging in, yeah? sorry for barging in. Can I just say, um, your fucking balls have been located and apparently it's fucking huge because you're coming <laughs> onto a public platform to basically say, listen, I'm doing this for free. I'm not charging anyone. I will yeah. get everyone to a level or I will get more. Because obviously when you give a class, it is obviously uh, uh, um, also subject to that person's understanding. So if that person is slow, obviously the progress will be slow. But yeah. just the fact that you are out there to say that, listen, I'm doing this for free. Kind of flipping challenges all of these air swipes. Like yeah. in this point, to me, right now, I have way more respect for you for wanting to help uh, uh, people for free than yeah. the guy driving the Lamborghini, yeah. living in this flashy house, yeah. charging people over 10k for... Yes. Sorry, Look, continue. No, no, continue. no, 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 that's fine. Look, um, I can say this, uh, you, know, I, you know, I can say this confidently, that, you know, the material and the stuff that I teach is in the mentorship program, it's, you know... They, there's not a price that you can attach to it, um, but I'm willing to challenge any mentor out there, you know, that's that that charges ten thousand price tags and twenty thousand price tags. I'm willing to challenge any one of them, you know, on a personal level, you know, on a live to live call where we do a live trading session or a live market breakdown session, and you'll see that there's more value in the things that I teach as opposed to because I've been, you know, I've seen a couple of people, especially on. On, on on Instagram. You know what? I I look at the stuff and I look at the price and I go, wow, is there really people out there crazy to pay these prices? And I mean, it's simple basic technical analysis that you can download off YouTube for free. They tell you how to trade a trend line. Look, I'm gonna tell you now that you that there's no way that you can trade support and resistance. There's no way that you can just trade trend lines. There is no way that you can just trade a break of structure because why I always believe that, uh, you know what? There's there's bigger guys out there that moves the market, and if you they they call the smart money, and if you can't move with the smart money, then you don't know what you're doing. And one thing I always tell my students is that the big banks, hedge funds, and institutions they know exactly where your positions are in the market. They the do. problem is the problem is you don't know where theirs are. So exactly. Yes, so that's why you get these liquidity spikes in the market. Okay, they 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 take these retail traders out, and your mentor said that buy at support and sell at resistance, 
and that is exactly where they go and take you out. And you have to pay 5000 6000 There's a couple of videos on your channel also. I've watched all of them, um, just so you know, where people are charging ridiculous prices for, for signals, you know, for, for signals alone, okay? You know, you the, don't do the recent, stuff like that. The recent interview that I posted about the guy called Dion, I see he charges 15,000 Rand for signals. Wow, 15,000 Rand for before, signals. Before we go any further, what is your what is your take on what I have been doing? Because um, to me, it's just insane seeing all of these people get away with the things that they've been getting away with, man. Look, I think um, I, look, look, I there's not much I can say about what they are doing because I think we are all we are all attracted. You know, we we as human beings, we are attracted by 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 material things, and True. that's how life works. It's like the lottery. So there's this video that I've watched about the lotto in particular, and the lotto are out there to you know to to you know to to you know for for poor and low income people to to sell them a dream of something that they will never be able to achieve, and that is exactly what these mentors are doing or these people that are selling courses out there that you know doing i mean just to give you an example okay if you're flashing that you've made three hundred thousand, and me out here and i'm getting you know i'm barely making any money and you're selling me a a signal platform in the back of my mind i think i'm gonna make three hundred thousand, but you're trading a 20 lot size i can't afford a 20 lot size i trade a 0.01 a lot of people don't even make back the money that they paid for a signal course within a monthly time frame. They've paid a thousand rand; they can only invest a thousand. And if you're, uh, you know what? And if your risk management is bad, then it's like I think on that one video you said where the guy was trading a zero point two zero point fifty fifties. I mean, how? You know, that's very bad risk management in the first place. And Hello. coming and coming back to the question that you asked about what 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 I think. I think it's firstly it's very good. In terms of what you're doing, you know, being out there exposing the people. Um, but I think, you know, the most important thing is that most of these traders or these mentors, you know, that does get exposed, you know, they just don't care. You know, it's, true. Business, true. it's, business, it's business as usual. And I feel really sad and I feel really, really deep, deep, deep down inside of me. You know what? I feel like trading, you know, trading as, as a whole is a very good thing and it can help a lot of people. But it, but but if you had to put the trust of people that has been trading and been taught by mentors on a pie chart, I can guarantee you that um, by, by trust and non-trust, you know, more people would probably say that, you know, Forex is probably a scam, but it's not a scam. Hello. It's just the fact that <clears throat> you've been taught by the wrong people, but that's, but that's, but that's, but that's the reality. Okay, that that itself is the reality because you go on Instagram, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Mr. N over there poses in front of a BMW saying that I've just made 20,000 on the NASDAQ. Nobody gives a shit if you made 20,000 on the NASDAQ. And I always say that I don't care how much money you make, so many how many pips you caught because the amount of pips you catch tells me exactly how good of a trader you are. You can scalp the market, catch 15 pips on a 30 lot size, Man. make 50,000. And I will trade a 0 0.01 on the NASDAQ 100 on IFX, for instance, okay? And, that and I is, can make two to 3,000. That 000. is the whole reason what you just said. That is the whole reason, like, people know I'm very unreserved with my opinion. But that is yeah. the whole reason why I do not have any respect whatsoever for F. Wayne. Because he's a trader that will um, send a signal and take, like, five... 10 pips, and then it's a thing of, Shaya, I'm the best. And then no, I'm just here like, bad. what? 10 pips, 20 pips? Dude. No. Dude. But then it's a case of, I don't know if you've, if you've seen this new trend with the traders. They basically barcode a chart. So you will see a whole lot of entries. They call it the barcoding nowadays. And I just find that really disgusting because the newbies are looking at this and they are seeing this, and I'm going to optimize my channel for newbies now. So um, I'm really glad that I could speak to you first because yeah. you are um, someone that's set your time out to help people for free. Yeah, and I just, like I said, just the fact that you are doing that 
parting with information that you have paid for and from what I know, right? I didn't think it was the price tag that you gave me, but from what I know, Nick is not cheap. Transparency yeah, yeah. is not cheap. And when I no. look at his work, um, it also makes me believe that his work is quality. No, um, yes. But for you, I know for a fact that I won't put... If I spend the amount of money you spent on 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 mentorship, I'd rather keep it to myself or not do <laughs> this free thing that you're doing. So, I have but to can I come in there quickly? <clears throat> I just I just want to say something. Look, the 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 greatest feeling that that I get out of life is a is a thank you, and 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 and, and that counts to me more than than a two thousand or three thousand that someone had to pay. So if someone can just like, like, especially the guys that recently, you know, joined the mentorship through, through the Instagram post that I did, you know what, just a thank you. And I feel good. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's, and that's it. If someone can just come up to me, you know what, and that's what I want to do. I, you know, I want to inspire everyone out there that, you know what, Forex is, you know what, you can make money of it, but you just need to make sure that you find the correct mentors and, don't you don't need to pay for anything out there really uh, i mean you know especially the prices that they charge is is, is ridiculous it is ridiculous and some people invest their lost money into it as well true, expecting true. to make a lot of profit as well and to be honest you know i bought a system i'm not going to mention any names and the way that it was sold in a way you know what you you would think to yourself fuck it this is the because, 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 because this person also called it the Holy Grail. But you know, it's somewhat. You know what? You, you, you would think, I think that this, I know you're talking yeah, about. So you know, this system is called the Holy Grail, and I remember telling my, my, you know, my girlfriend at that time as well. You know, and I said that you know what, you know what, we have this thing now, and we're gonna make a lot of money on this thing. And you know, so, but 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 meantime, it was just, uh, you know, it was just, <laughs> yeah, like it just, says dreams. Yeah, it was just support. So the, the thing to say, you know, when the market is at a strong support level on the daily time frame and you take a buy and then stuff happens, but nothing really happens. So yeah, I you know to be honest with you, I don't trust anyone, any 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 mentor in South Africa for one reason and one reason only, okay, is the fact that everyone that I've seen so far either has got two hundred thousand followers with two hundred likes on each photo, so I'm like 200k followers, 200 likes, like what happened to the oh, 190,000, <laughs> you know, for that reason and the fact that they are constantly posting, laying in money, standing on the, uh, standing on the GTIs, I mean, I'm not, I'm never going to stand on my car, let alone take a photo or posing for, any, for, uh, for any of that matter. But what I do, I'll ever do is, is, you know, I post market breakdowns before and after on my Instagram, I send results. I make notes that if things didn't go that good. And that is what the G does. So before people think I'm favoring you, before people think I'm um, a little bit biased here because people already think that, let me just punch you in the gut. Okay. Are you registered with the FSA? Okay. So because I don't offer any um, investment schemes, so I don't trade for anybody. I, you know, I, I don't accept investments from anybody i don't do trades on behalf of other people so i basically share information or i share knowledge and for that i don't need to be registered with the fca and i will never ever take investments and i will never ever trade for anyone they say that if you teach a man how to fish okay he will fish for the rest of his life and that is exactly the direction that I'm going to go. So, yeah, so I'm not regulated with the FCA because I don't think there's any reason for me to be because I'm not acting as an FSP or a bank or anything like that. So for that reasons, no. Money, isn't, money isn't coming to you. Yeah, like I'm not getting so any money. No investments, yeah. no account management, nothing. nothing like that. No, because I no, no, don't one thing that I see yeah. is taking off in South Africa now is this joint pool account yeah. thing. None of that. So no, no, no. just for no, the fact that I you don't. don't have that things, I can solidly applaud you because yeah. that lets me know that you make money off the market yes, and not yeah. off people. And no. that is my big... Like, 
first off, um, I, I know people have dubbed me the South African Coffeezilla, but where I differentiate from Coffeezilla is that he's totally against mentorship and the selling of courses and all of that, whereas yes. I'm not. Because the thing is, if your course really delivers what you say it does, if yeah. your course really does what, what, what you said it was going to do, then, um, and obviously, not everyone is going to have the same results, but if you as a person or as a person that is pushing the brand, if you are yeah. constantly there to help and to make sure that you deliver good on your word, then yeah. um, obviously the person that you are helping will see the other side. So yeah. I do not have a problem with, with, with people selling courses or anything like that. Yeah. It's just when they've sold the course and they don't deliver good on what they promised. Because at the yeah. end of the day, when someone sells a course to you, you can obviously read, okay, I'm going to pay so much. This is what this person offers. Am I going to go in? Am I not going to go in? So yeah. based on that already, you know, uh, 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 um, it's a case of, it. to me, to me, it's a case of you have willingly parted with your money on that end. But yeah. now, where it comes to the service provider side, where I'm the horse is via, are oh, you delivering what you said? This yes. people are going to deliver. You yes. took 5,000, 8,000, 10,000 <laughs> from the people. Are you making good on what you said? So yeah. that is the only reason why I'm cracking down so hard. And yeah. um, I just want us to uh, uh, um, talk a little bit about your strategy. Okay. What what, what 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 does it consist of? Because, like you said, you've been taught by Nick, and you for the past two years you've been yeah. following his routine. Yes. And yes, yes. Um, when I say following his routine, this is what people need to understand now. And I bet you will agree with me when I say this. Yeah. The only reason you can um, take what Nick has given you and formulate it to something that you can use profitably is because you understand it to the level where you can explain it in your own words yeah yeah so so uh, you've 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 seen him explain something yes, so yes. so I'm, 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 I'm not sitting in my bedroom on a chair with my slippers on in a blue t-shirt that says uh -huh. okay and a guy you know i even asked him once and i said you know what do you rehearse these videos before you do it he's like no i just go in there and i do it and he's so 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 you know so everything that he taught me um i can explain it in my own way but i will never be able to interpret it the same way that he does because why you know uh you know from a scale to zero to uh, you know you know, from zero to hundred, you know, I'd probably give him a hundred and ten percent because you know what, he's probably the well, he's the best mentor, and he's still my mentor, and he probably he's probably going to be my mentor until there is no more mentor left. Um, okay, so the 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 rules of the strategy. So the strategy consists of a swing trade. So you know what, swing, and then we also got a day trade strategy. So the day trade strategy is obviously for the people that doesn't have a job or that sits at home all day and that can look at what the Euro USD is doing. Um, and it also consists of uh, uh, um, COT data. So I believe I'm a 100% believer in the COT data. So the COT data is obviously what the big banks, heads, funds and institutions are doing in the market. So for those of you who do not know who is a little bit gobsmacked, um, sorry, Roland, for okay. um, busting in there like that. For those of you that doesn't know, uh, the COT data or the COT report is a commitment of traders report. And this shows where the big banks, the hedge funds, you know, yeah. the people with the big money, where they are shorting and where they are uh, basically buying. Yeah, so short and long. So long yeah. buy, sorting and selling. So, yeah, so, so, so we make use of, you know, so we make use of that. And then we also make use of environmental indicators. So these indicators are only used to determine once the market has shifted from a bearish market to a bullish market. Um, and then we make use of market structure, price action, patterns in them, certain patterns in the market, you know, the IHNS, which is the inverted head and shoulders, head and shoulders, the Ws, the Ms. So and then then uh, so we all know that market moves in waves, makes higher highs, higher lows, and lower lows, and you know, so so we also, you know, have an understanding 
on how you need to trade, you know, the the next impulse, if I want to say it. I know Nick calls it, you know, the you know the ICI strategy. So it's basically the impulse correction and the impulse. So how to trade a W, you know, where to sort a W to. So we all know that, you know, the way to trade a W is to trade it back to the neckline. And if the, if the right leg breaks, you wait for retest on that leg. And then you wait for the momentum to shift first. So what I do teach is for people how to read market structure, how to use price action, how to take an entry, how to set your stop loss and your take profit, how to read the COT data, how to use the Fibonacci retracement tool in the way that we use it or the way that I use it. Um, also how to use trend lines, how to draw trend lines correctly. Well, I don't want to say correctly, but the way I've been using it, how to draw counter trend lines as well. And the way we do it is, for instance, uh, we recently took a long on the NASDAQ 100, if I just need to give you a brief example. So, you know, we took a long on the NASDAQ 100. We first sorted the market to complete the W on the, on the, on the daily time frame, and then so, you know, I posted it on my Instagram. So what we did was we took a sort on the left leg of the, and then we waited for the environment to shift. Then we sold it back to the leg. Then we had a buy limit at the stop loss. And then when once, oh, sorry, a buy limit at the take profit. Once the take profit hit, the buy limit activated and the market started retracing up. So there's, so there's many factors. So the day trading strategy has got part of the, the swing trading as well. So we, so, 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 so basically, you know, the biggest question in everyone's, you know, you know, on everyone's lips is going to be, but, 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 how do we take an entry, or, or how do we know that the environment has? So, so if I tell you, for instance, right, uh, the Euro USD has just created a big impulse, and it's now correcting to the 38.2 for the Nazi retracement tool. So then, from there, we, uh, I do explain to you exactly what you need to do, how to go to lower time frames how to use the indicators, what to look for and wait for the environment to shift from a bearish market to a bullish market first, how to use price action to take your entry, where to take your, uh, how to use the Fibonacci extension because the extension tools are used for, you know, for profit tools uh, and where to set your stop loss. Stop loss will always be below the previous low or below the 78.6 Fibonacci on the low. And then we always trade a one to three. And if you don't get a one to three, we don't take the trade. If we can't get a one to three out of it, then we're not going to take the trade. For the day, uh, for the day trading strategy, we trade a one to two. English street rules. Yes. Yeah. And 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 because there's so many rules that you need to follow throughout it, um, before taking an entry, it teaches you patience as well because you are not just going to jump in the market without waiting for the rules to be satisfied and first. Days, I won't have patience. Yeah, well, you know what, I, I, you can ask any one of my students if you catch them that I have difficult conversations with them on a weekly basis, you know, and it's the F word goes left, right and center because <clears throat> sometimes they don't apply all the rules of the strategy and then, because I do back testing sessions and listen, to, uh, so when I say back testing, I do live back testing sessions on trades that were taken in that given week so that they can also understand how it was taken um, at the end of each and every week. So I put a lot of hours in um, in teaching all of these, these, these strategies. And obviously the biggest one is risk management. And um, the, the big the big one is, uh, you know, what do they call this thing? Psych psychological, you know, yeah. psychology, trading psychology as well. And that's not something I can teach anyone. You can't teach people trading psychology um, at a level to where they're going to be committed to it because we all know what happens when, um, you know, when you start, stacking the market because i've got very aggressive students okay like i got aggressive aggressive students students that that doesn't follow the risk to reward because they think it's about making quick money so i would say that you risk so much of your account and to make so much then what happens is that i get a screenshot of the nasdaq 100 0 0.01 0 0.01 0 0.01 0 0.01 0 0.01 and you know some people are just very aggressive but as long as they stick to the rules of the strategy that um that that i teach you know um you are guaranteed to be profitable and the best thing about this mentorship which i can say with a lot of uh, pride in myself is that the mentorship also comes with a group called my signals so the my signals group are my signals that i take off the the you know the 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 rules or the strategies that i trade so i've got a group for that as well so as you learn how to is that 
Yes, no, no, everything's free. <laughs> sure. No, no. Yeah, no, no. We've got no, Father they, Christmas up in here, guys. No, they are they are all 100% free. Um, even the people that has got the mentorship pro, so I've got a mentorship on uh, the 5th of June, even those people that are waiting for the mentorship to join are also in the My Signal group. So they're also catching, you know, some signals and, and, from and there. And for well. the mentorship thing that you're going to have on the 5th of June, anyone can join? Yeah, it's... Uh, it's well it's basically for everybody i'm still going to do a poll because a poll um uh, on tomorrow or monday because i need to be able to understand um who has got some sort of understanding in trading and who doesn't because the cool. call takes about 11 hours so i do it on a saturday and if i have to on a sunday so it's a live call you know like the one that i'm doing with you now so it takes about 11 hours and the reason why i do that is because i know that the people that doesn't have any understanding in terms of trading obviously needs more attention as opposed to the people that does have some sort of experience. You put a heck load of hours into this, but uh, 11 and, uh, hours. Yeah, all, all day, every day. So we so we start at 9 o'clock in the morning and, you know, between 9 and 10 and it goes up until 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock the evening. So we'll sit there and we'll talk. Well, I do the talking and they do the listening and they do the, you know, they ask questions the, and everything. The obviously. And stuff. Yeah. So, 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 so it all, um, it all gets recorded so that they can use as a further reference when they do go and, and, and study and apply. And I'm very strict in my mentorship as well, because, um, because of the signals group that is there as well, you are required to send me at least one setup each and every week. Cause I need to know that you are learning and that you're not just waiting for signals to, to trade and if you don't send beautiful. me yeah and if because you don't send me a setup, that has, I like, I, like i told you that is having a signal group for me is very beneficial as yeah. a, as 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 someone that is trying to teach a strategy because i feel like if you teach a strategy and you do not help people um even if it's just for a month maybe that to help them formulate signals so that yeah. they at least can know how to trade it should you maybe be hit by a car tomorrow. Exactly. Um, so people that don't do that, I I, I don't have respect for them or the, yeah. or the okay, I, 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 that is probably, you know, a broad generalization of me, which is very wrong. I need to work on that. But yeah. the thing is, I do not trust people that's like that very often because if you are reluctant to show me that your strategy works, which, yeah. by the way, can only be shown by the giving of signals. Yeah, um, of course. Then I won't trust you. But when it comes to you that says, okay, you're going to teach them everything about analyzing, reading, and yeah. uh, preparing for a position. And not only just that, you're going to show them how to take the position as well. Yeah. I find that really helpful. Um, and to be honest with you, um, I know we've had this conversation about us having this interview for a while now, and I've been skeptical, but just the <laughs> fact and listening what you are putting on the table yeah. really makes me want to kick myself for not having this interview sooner because yeah. it seems like you are really, really, really like putting your effort in there into people without the consideration of even, yay, <laughs> am I even getting anything back here? What's in it for no, me? Look, 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 no, look, I... Uh, look, um, the thing is, and I don't want to put this out to the general public, but I don't make a lot of money, okay? But I also don't make a little money, okay? But I make enough money not to be able to charge someone else for, to you know, to teach someone else how to make money as well. So for me, That's the most key. important... Did you hear there, guys? Roland doesn't make a cockies full of money like some of these traders will make you believe. And he, it, it doesn't also make a little. It makes enough that it doesn't have to charge you. Listen to that, guys. Listen to, pay your fucking, pay attention. That is key. He makes enough not to charge you. South African Forex Mentor Challenge. Yes. Y'all that's go. making millions. Like I said, um being on wall street um and I'm, I'm i'm gonna take it there now being on wall street between guys it's normally about where's the biggest swinging dick and for me you have just shown where the fuck yours is and how fucking <laughs> it is. 
Because <laughs> for you to come out like, this is free shit, I'm not only gonna show you how I trade, I'm gonna basically show you how to take a signal also. So yeah. it's, to say it like this, and I, it, it might sound like a little bit of an exaggeration, but it's like you are taking the, 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 the horse to the water and you're showing him how to drink. Yeah, just put the, <laughs> just put the, the that's, horse's that's mouth. That's insane. Water. I, heard, I heard you say something about risk management and setting your stop loss. Um, is there, and I could, I could hear, I yeah. could hear it. I have an yeah. experience, or not an, I wouldn't say an experienced ear, but um, the experience that they have in trading will make yeah. me um, be able to tell if someone is bullshitting from yes. jump, just like that. And yeah. I know that I caught it when you said it. So for me, uh, um, the thing that you said with your risk management and yeah. the fact that you have a one, two, three, and yeah. you just follow that, you yes. don't follow in can you tell me a little bit more about your risk management because um people aren't out here reiterating that i okay. it, but, <laughs> and it's so profound that yeah. you have that risk management and if the plan doesn't fall in place you do not follow it no we but, don't um you know there's people that don't reiterate risk in trading okay. no problem. can you just shed okay. some light for us <laughs> Okay, so to put it into perspective for you, the reason why we trade a one, two, three, it's because that if I take 10 trades, okay, and I lose seven out of that 10 trades, okay, well, I can, well, I only need to win three because, you know, when you trade a one, two, three, and you take 10 trades, so I take 10 trades and I lose seven, okay, let's go seven, then I've lost 7%. And if I win three, then I've won 9%. So I'd still be 2% up. So I'll still be make, making a 2% in profit, which is, which some people might go like, but that's not a lot of money. But it's to make sure that, and, and, and I'm not out, out there saying that I lose seven trades. It's just an example. That's and an it's example. for that reason, it's, it's, it's for that reason that we trade a one to three risk reward. And the way we do that is like, I'm trying to draw candlesticks with my hand here, but the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm catching that. <laughs> yeah. So, so the way we do that is that we know that when a previous low gets broken, it gets retested then the momentum of the market has shifted. So we always try and take a trade, you know, we'll, we're not, we, we use limit orders or sometimes we, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll execute the market at the current price. But what we, you know, we always use uh, buy limits, and the buy limits would be set at the previous track zone. Stop losses would be below the 78.6 when you take the Fibonacci on that impulse leg. So what basically happens is that we set our stop losses below the, you know, below that structural area. You should know that when that, if that structural area gets broken, then the market will, you know, it's going to retest it, and then the momentum would have shifted down. So our stop losses would be a few pips below that. And our take profit would be uh, the well, depending on. And you, again, you should know this: if the Fibonacci retraces back to the 38.2, the momentum strong, so you don't need to make any adjustments to your target levels. So we 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 trade a risk to three for that reason because we want to make sure that we consistently stay uh, profitable in the market, and we also make use of. The famous, what do they, <laughs> I can't even get to the word now, uh, slippage numbers. I'm sure you've heard of slippage numbers as well. Yeah, so we make use of slippage numbers also. And a lot of people would know slippage numbers as round numbers in the market. Um, but we make use of slippage. So, so I teach people how to set their entries at slippage numbers because we know that the big banks, heads, funds, and institutions like to put their orders around that pricing as well. Okay, and then I just wanted to add to what you said there um, uh, also. So if you look at signal groups in general as well, the reason why I don't trust them is because I don't know the strategy. So it goes, you know, it goes both ways. So someone that tells the signal platform, if you can't tell me why you're taking the signal, then for some reason I can't trust you. And if you've got a mentorship program and well, or, or if you're selling courses, because that's what everyone's doing. Like, everyone's just like, you know, they you sign up, they take you to a website where there's a couple of videos and you sit there and you watch it all by yourself. And when you got a question, you need to inbox your 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 mentor that doesn't have time to answer because he's busy flashing your money out there. But it goes vice versa. If you've got a signal group, you need to send me your setup, tell me how you came about taking that entry. And if you are a mentor or a 
well, they're, they're not really mentors. If you are a flasher, then you need to show me exactly how you're taking these trades and making money of it. Because remember, people charge you for a mentorship, which is not a mentorship, which is a course that they're selling. And they charge you for a signal group. So you need to pay for all of that stuff at the end of the day, which is bullshit. Because why, if you are out there to genuinely help people, then why does why? people need to pay you first? If you're making so much money, then why should we pay you 500? What is 200 Rand going to do to your bank account? What is a 500 Rand going to do to your millions and your millions that you have in your account? It's not going to do anything. And you could rather not charge people like the guy with the 200 Rand signals that keeps changing every week. I mean, what do you do with 200 Rand? You can't even, that's like five pop drawdown on the NASDAQ 100 and boom, sure. ah, you're out. So sure. I, 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 I want to say this in public, actually, but you know, you know this. Look, I don't, I think you're doing a good job, and I think you, you know what. And and, and I'm not saying I'm, I'm the god of training, um, but you know what? I mean, come on. I I challenge the um, I challenge the guys from Alien uh, Fish Sticks as well, and and I said that, you know, I posted on one of the comments, and I said that you guys out, you're flexing 10, 15 pips. Okay, I challenge you and all of the people that trades with you to go against me, myself, and then he just replied, uh, you know what, I'm not sure if you saw that, and then he just said, you know what, I'm glad you guys are doing good, blah, 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 but like, don't fucking flex you with 15 pips trying to get people's attention with that. It doesn't work, but again, Rydal, if you are not smart, because, uh, look, people don't look, and this is what I love to do, I, I like to count the price between the entry price and the closing price, and I want to see how many pips you caught, and that's all I look at. And if I can see exactly. there, and, it, and if I can see there that, wow, 10 pubs, and you're out here, yeah, me and my team that's has been true. killing, me and my team that's has been killing the thing. NASDAQ. Bro, nobody can kill the NASDAQ. You can't kill the NASDAQ. The people are going out there. We've killed the NASDAQ. We've nailed them. No, you can't kill the NASDAQ. You know what? The NASDAQ's out there making millions, millions of your accounts as well. And people are going out there, you know what? We're killing the NASDAQ. No, you're not killing the NASDAQ. Anybody can catch 10 pips, 15 pips. Anybody can do that. On VIX 75, for example, you know what? There's, there's you know, people are, you know, we caught 10,000 pips. How the hell do you catch 10,000 pips with your 100 lot size and expect someone with a 0 0.01 to make that kind of money? Stop lying to the people. Start it's being sick. honest with the people. And I think people just need to... To, you know, people should be very, and that's why it's good that you have this channel over here as well, as to, it's to open people's minds and people can start seeing that, look, if you really, 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 if you really want to be good, if you really want to be profitable, okay, I can, you know, I can send you links to my uh, signal groups as well, you, to you personally, and you can go and have a look at the work that we've done in March, April and in May, and you can go look at the results of the signals that were sent in there, and you probably thought, but why is this free? Why is no one paying for this stuff? And I don't charge people. I'm actually gonna today. link. I'm actually gonna link your um when we get off the call. Uh, before I post it, I see it's still very early in the day. It's now only seven o'clock, so I can still post this interview today. But um, when we are done, just send me the link to your mentorship and to your um to your signal group so that i can yeah. link it below so that people can you know go and follow you because i feel like this is this is this is um a really great opportunity for um if not to make money to learn at least this is yeah. a really big opportunity that you're giving people to and i mean when you look at nick's youtube you can obviously see that like Every adult sees it like this. When someone <laughs> puts in effort in their work, it yeah. shows It shows that they take pride in their work. And you can see that through Nick. And yeah. um, just the fact that you are doing it for free, you know, yeah. helping people out there. And just the fact that you have the heart to do it, because obviously you, you understand for you to be able to say, okay, I'm going to do this free. You understand that people are in a tough financial situation. Um, of course. The pandemic fucked over yeah. everyone. Um, <laughs> yes. So just for you to, to, to do it, because, I mean, like you said, 
you could be out here doing okay i could have done it for free but i'm gonna charge 200 rand but yeah what is it 200 <laughs> that is probably <laughs> what you'll make um yeah. on your first trade and and some more yeah uh, um, per day so yeah. you know um this is what people need this is and yeah i'm just gonna link it below so uh, uh please do send it to me so that I can put it in the in the description. Um, but also that we are done with the questions now. But I there's only one left for me to ask. That's fine. That's fine. And I think you ask. have asked. You've answered it like so many different ways. And <laughs> yeah, the and people that slow. Let me just yeah. ask it again. What makes your um, what makes your free mentorship and your free signals better yeah. than the paid ones? Well, um, confluences, you know, one, that's one word, confluences. And what, what I mean by that is that uh, I stack more confluences than any signal provider or trader out there in my favor before I take a trade. Um, so there's a lot of work that goes into um, the signals that I send. There's a lot of work that goes into the mentorship um, program as well. So everything that I do is done beforehand. So I'm not sending something now and then send you the setup. No, all market breakdowns are published on a Sunday, and my students that are that are well, 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 well taught that's training by themselves now, they follow the breakdowns, apply the rules, and then I use that same breakdowns that everybody can see in the world. Well, not in the world, but in the group. I use that same same breakdowns and I send out signals purely based on those not not nothing else, just on those breakdowns. I send it into the group as well. So um, to answer your question, like if you know what, if I have to count the amount of confluence that I stack in my favor before I take a trade, it's a lot because I feel that the more confluence you can stack in your favor before you take a trade, the more the you know, the trade will be. Yeah, yeah, the and the less you need to babysit your trade. Because a lot of people go like Yo, yo, I mean, one minute, one top throwdown. Next thing you go, yo, two. And then you keep checking your phone. I don't check my phone. I check my phone two times a day because I swing on the four hour time frame. So, so I just need to check my phone two times for the day. And for the guys that does the day trading, you know, they're constantly out there. It's just, well, sending me signals. You're like, you know, what do you think about this? And I go have a quick look and I make a decision. I say, right, okay, let's go for it. And sometimes I even take my students. I take their signals and I post it in the group, but I'll obviously make a reference to guys, you know, this student has just sent me a signal now and this is the take profit, this is the stop loss. I will take trades as well. There's many times or all the time I take trades or, or signals that my students send to me or share with me. I take it, though I see it with the guys in the group and we all trade it together. It's just one happy, one happy group and that's what I want to do. So um, as I've said before as well, I said that, um, you know, I want to get to a point where we have, where, where we build and establish a very big trading community and have everyone look at the market through the same eyes with the same strategy, because there's a lot of instruments out there, you know, stocks, forex, you know, there's so much out there. One person can't look at all of them. So you, you can know. get 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 4, 4, if you, you can get 5,000 people uh, trading the same way in the same group, you know. Looking at all these setups, um, you know, someone is, you know, more setups will come through, more accurate signals will come through because you will send us a setup with your analysis, stop loss, take profit, everything done as you were taught. And I will say yes or no. And then we'll just make an informative decision on that as well. Okay. So I hope that answered your question, Drew, because I always, Talk a lot it does, when, when it does because me. it um when it when it when it comes to the mentorship part and this yeah. is like i said earlier but i'm just gonna chop it up quickly so that i don't so so that the elaboration don't shoot off the message but when it comes to the mentorship, <laughs> okay. what i can gather is that you give signals just so that people can see that okay um the time that i've spent analyzing this market isn't for nothing because yeah. this is how I'm going to take the trade. This is yeah. how I take the trade actually. And then on the signal end, like you said, um, it's a case of, it's a case of um, you have shown people, okay, this isn't something that I'm sucking out of my thumb, 
This isn't uh -huh. something that I have a feeling about. Yeah. I've analyzed <laughs> for this. Yeah. I've made calculated decisions. There we this. go. So yes, yes. on the signal end, it's like it will, it will, it will give more credit. And and why I feel this is so important and this is so this is so awesome is because um, on the signal end, which for me is a little bit more important. Um, based on what you have taught them and based on their own experience, because as you teach them, they gain experience on the signal yeah. end. They can always be like, uh, 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 um, okay, I don't trust this one a little bit. Uh, uh, so I'm not going to take this one or um, this signal looks a little bit off. So I'm not going to yeah. worry. This signal actually lines up with everything based on what I was taught and my, because, you know, obviously people like to go on what they see and, you know, and then, Wait. but just just the fact that people know why it's formulated, how it's formulated, and how it got to the group, um, yes. will obviously help them in the decision making of pressing ultimately pressing that buy and okay. um, that yeah. sell button. So yes. what you are doing to me is flipping insane. It needs all the applause uh, uh, yeah. um, in the world. Um, because what you are doing is 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 really helpful. People can because I mean, what you're giving is free, right? So yeah. let's say I'm a newbie. Now I yes. join you. It's for free. It's not gonna cost me anything. Um, I'm seeing how you analyze. I'm seeing how you trade. I'm seeing how you take the signals. But now my eye veers off to the guys with the mercs. Now yeah. I go there. Now <laughs> I pay them, and I see. But um. Half of what I get in the free group with yeah. Roland, I don't even get here. Of course, yeah, of course. So, um, and then, and then also, just based on that, just based on that, because people are obviously like, I, like I always say, um, don't just go for the one thing. And I think that is also why you have like one or two strategies. Don't just go for one thing. Try and further your knowledge. Um. Based yeah. on what you know. So yeah. obviously there will be that one or two or three, maybe a couple that will take what you have taught them further. And yeah. I think it, yeah. that is your main goal by having yeah. everyone have the necessary one knowledge thing. to discern yeah. how to analyze, when to take a trade. And most importantly, if people have the correct knowledge, then it's like they are able to discern as well who are scammers and who they should yeah. avoid totally. Yeah. Because I mean, like you said, it's when you can analyze and when you can trade that you can spot a bullshitter just like that. Yeah, it, it is. And, 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 if you, and if you look at a lot of people, um, especially like again on Instagram, because they're all over Instagram. Like if I look at the, the setups and I look at the, you know, the, the stuff that some people send on there, it's, it's, you know, it's hilarious. If I look at some people's setups on Instagram, for instance, it's funny. It's a joke. And, and, and sometimes I feel that because people look, it's, 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 you know, people are out there to prey on the people, you know, that doesn't know what's going on. Get so, on. and that is something that you shouldn't do. Like if I tell you now, right. And I'm just making an example. If I tell you, right. Um, the Nasdaq 100 currently on the you know on the weekly time frame is sitting at the W formation. So what we're going to do is we're going to trade the next W, um, well the next weekly impulse up. And I've measured, for instance, I tell you, I've measured the next impulse to uh, 14895. And we're going to wait for the market to shift the momentum first, then we'll use price X in the market structure so to take a valid entry. You know, stop below the previous structures, uh, take profit at 14895. If I give you detailed information about what you need to do, then you're going to trust me more as opposed to telling you I've drawn a trend line and the market has bounced over the trend line. That is the previous high and we're going to buy it to the previous high. You're telling me nothing. You think the market care about your 0 0.01 and your 0 0.02? Do you think the big okay. bank oh. care about, do you think they care about your 0 0.01s? And look, I trade a 0 0.10, well, not a 0, well, it's a 0 0.01, which is 0 0.10, but I trade with just Forex, and I'm not recommending any brokers to anyone, but um, I trade that as well. I trade exactly what the students are trading, not because I, you know, not because I want to, but because, uh, you know what, 
you know what? We're all in the same boat and we're all rowing together and we're all making money together. And I'm happy. Mm. You know, I'm happy. I drive a fine ass car. You know what? Not not the best, not not the, the Lamborghinis or the you know, but it's fine. It's fine for me. It's, it makes me happy. It makes me feel True. good. I'm True. Comfortable place. So that's fine for me. And the idea behind wealth creatives is to like I said, you know what? Get all these people, everyone, if we can, get the whole South Africa involved. And we all steer towards one direction. Even get the scammers out there. Scammers can come. You can tell the scammers also. They can come learn something. Uh, scammers, learn people... you've been invited. You've been invited. <laughs> scammers, the link is in the description. Just do the sell Roland strategy because we will oh. catch you. <laughs> no, it's fine. They can sell it, you know. And God will deal with them in heaven. They'll kick him out of heaven. True. Yeah. God will deal with them in heaven and we will deal with them here on earth. <laughs> no, uh, no, look, I, I don't care what they do with my work, really. I, I think, I think you know, as long as I know that I'm trying to make an impact and I'm not trying to do anything, True. at the end of the day, that's going to lie with as them. As long as you know you are, you are actually making a difference more than the guy that says, oh, pay me, I will help you make a difference. Oh, pay me. Pay you pay for what, bro? If you're making so much money, you know, why should we actually pay you? And some people that, you know, 100 rand and limited seats. There's no limited seats, bro. On a there's, Zoom call. there's literally no limited seats. If they there's can no have 1 million that. people fill the there's seats for 100 rand a seat, they will do that. But it's because people are a little bit gullible that the NFE, like yeah. this free, this free group will take their gullibility away because now they've been given knowledge useful knowledge that because obviously there's a whole lot of profitable ways to trade but at least they have this one point this yeah. one strategy yeah, or is it two two it's two it's a swing and a day trade now see the then at least they have two strategies that they can have a reference point from when they're going forward yeah um so also just pe people need to do also just get rid of the noise on Telegram because, you know, I, I said people's got like 100 Telegram groups as well, free, free, this group, free, that group. You're sitting there, you're looking at, I want to buy the NASDAQ 100, then some clown says, uh, selling the NASDAQ, and then you go, well, you want to buy it, uh, you <laughs> Yeah, so you're stuck in the middle, you know, which way you want to go. So, you know, I don't have any single groups apart from your 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 bot group and then my own like thing on like three groups so i got a q a group i got a market breakdown group and i've got uh signals groups so i got those three groups uh of my own on there as well yeah and 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 then of yeah that's it but you know i was talking to clarity, uh, guys just for clarity guys um roland said your bot group when he said your bot group he meant uh, the the first export refund group that yeah, is yeah. where, oh, sorry, that is where <laughs> we meet each other. So yeah. um, that is, yeah, that is where I figured out that. And the thing is, guys, um, I never, it wasn't a case of like, I went to go, to go dig. Roland obviously saw that he has something that he can help me with when it comes to exposing people. And Roland didn't waste any time telling me, listen, I'm going to need this and that, and then I'm going to sort you out. I can't say with what, but yeah, that <laughs> no, information yeah, let's leave that information. Yeah, but, let's leave um, that information. yeah, thank you so much for your time, Roland. This has been really no opening, especially yeah. with knowing now that you come out of niche hands, and yeah, also no. knowing that you're doing this for free, bruh. Yes. I wish I had this interview with you long ago. And the fact, the fact why I have so much why my, my respect has just elevated now for you is the fact that while you asked me a while ago, listen, dude, um, I have a free thing. Here's my link. Check it out. Feel if you feel like you can introduce <laughs> us to your audience. Just yeah. the fact that you did that, just the fact that you were never like, yeah, I got told by Nick, I know this, I know that. You must yeah. put me on. Just the fact that you didn't <laughs> no. do that. Just yeah. the fact that you did. And look now, there's people in my Instagram inbox now that yeah. is doing things. And um, obviously, I don't know how above board they are. But 
just the fact that they would constantly buzz me like every three days, like, yo, have you decide, like, um, I do this and I do that. And, and <laughs> just the fact that you never, ever texted me to be like, my bro, I told you about my three, th- three things. Why aren't you paying me attention? Why have yeah. you just the fact that you didn't do that? Just the fact that you weren't pushy. Yeah, just that alone let me know that what you're doing is flipping solid. So yeah. um I did tell you, I did ask you that um I was gonna connect you with with one guy in particular that yeah, I'm gonna sorry, uh, uh, sorry. Oh oh I thought it was gonna be live on the call. I was gonna like another interview. No, 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 no. Um yeah, I was gonna say that. Um, I told you that um, I'm going to connect a guy with you. He's not here yeah. on the call right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. But when he texted me now, he flat out told me, my guy, um, I saw what... Because that came fresh after what FX Margin Call did for Llewellyn. Because he saw the Llewellyn Boyson videos and Jason Noah. And yeah. then he, he, he hit me up on the DM on Instagram and he was like, yo, dude, um, link me with Llewellyn. I want to teach him for free. I'm not yeah. going to charge him. And yeah. um, you are basically doing the same thing, man. Um, but, 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 is he, but, but uh, I'm not sure so, if you remembered. I think I, I've commented because you had a video previously on the same guy as well. And I had commented to you on there as well. I even said the video in my group, in, in, in my students' group. And I said that, you know, if anyone knows who this Llewellyn guy is, please get in contact. I even went to go and search for him on Instagram. Now you see under there. Your you see that. Just <laughs> I the couldn't find him. Just yeah. the fact that you didn't, because you were obviously you were looking for him, but yeah. just the fact that you didn't buzz me and... No. Facts no. be told, you have my contact details. At any do, time, yeah. you could have been like, my bro, hook me up with Llewellyn. I wonder. Yeah. But just the fact that you didn't do that, man, tells me yeah. that you're not looking for attention because... Let's be real. <laughs> Money is not the root of all evil anymore. Attention is. That is why you see the these flash, idiots flash. flashing yeah. on Instagram. So, and just the fact that you weren't looking for the attention, my bro, let me know that I can do this with you. So yeah. I have told you that um, I'm going to connect a guy with you. So when we yeah. get off the call, um, I'm going to send his, his details to you. Yeah. Because obviously, if I send your details to him, he can share it around, and I don't know that dude, so I'm not gonna trust him like that. I'm rather gonna ask his details and give his details to you, then yeah. you can chat with him. But um, and you obviously invited this, which yeah. I also flippin' applaud. But yeah. that guy will also be like, um, because a lot of people will think that. I am favoring you here now. Yeah. And yeah. that guy in the group will just serve as an extra unbiased that I can always, you know, let's say in two months' time, you know, I want to check up with, okay, what's happening in, in, in Roland's group, you know. Then I can always yeah. get what you are saying because, you know, yeah. we do have each other's contacts. <laughs> and then I can also, you know, just have... Um, an unbiased third party that can that that I can be like, yo, have you been doing good? Have you at least been learning? Have, yeah. have the signals been good? You know, and yeah. just the fact that you told me, yes, you can link that, bra. Lets me know that what you are doing with what what you are yeah. dealing with is fucking solid because and bring everyone. It's, it is out <laughs> there that will be like, okay, I will help the guy, and he can correspond with you as to how we are doing in the group. So yeah. just for that, just for you coming on this platform, this interview I see it's going to one hour and 10 minutes just for <laughs> sitting here for this time. Just for yeah. sitting here for this time. I have to thank you, bruh, because um, okay. one thing that I wanted to do is, I wanted to, and you know this also, but I wanted to invoke a whole lot of positive change within yeah. this community. Yeah. And um, the positive change just doesn't come alone with exposing the scammers. It also yeah. comes with what you are doing right now. So yeah. thank you so much, dude. Is there any last words that you have for um, <laughs> subscribers? 
look, I think um, just you know what, like you know, just just be careful, man. Like like just just be careful, and I think you know, and trading, you know, you can make money off trading. Just uh, just be careful out there. You know, I think that's the the most important thing is just be careful, and you know, anybody that's asking an upfront payment for anything. So, you know, it's a red flag, like I always say. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you know what? I think, you know what? We are, you know what? Look, I, I'm i not good at, at, at loss features, but um, there's something I want, wanted to add, though. So I've got a poster, which I think will help also, which is on my Instagram, okay? So I think um, the idea is is that if we can expand, so the idea is obviously to expand. with expand. me? And I'm gonna post it on my community tab on on um on my YouTube channel and I will post it on my Instagram. Yeah, so then all they they need to do is, is they just need to refer to that poster um and then just tag three people in it also, you know, and then what happens is then you know what they get send the link for the groups as well. Um because I mean, you know, the more people we can get, and if you are not busy. I think you can sit in the course as well from a personal per, from a personal level, uh, or you can be like my manager, you know, like listening. To no, my no, call. no, no, <laughs> no. I think like, I can. Uh, thank thank you for guys. the invite to sit yeah. in on because you see, once again, the the invite isn't like obviously you know what I'm doing. You know I don't have any problem calling anyone out. Like I always tell people this. If you if you want to test my loyalty to the people, just take into consideration the fact that my mentors was taught by Jason Noah, and I literally do not have a problem ousting Jason. Noah. You saw what I did. <laughs> so no, I just the that fact guy. that you Sounds... know what I'm doing, and yeah. you have the pluck to invite me to I sit in on your to sit in on your sessions, bra. I really appreciate it. I will sit in on your sessions. I most definitely will. I'm going to do it. And yeah. um, I look I look forward to it. Thank you very yeah. much. No problem. I think, uh, you know what? You can be the number one student. You know, you never know. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the top, like the student with the top marks. And I just want to also just add to that, right? Look, at the end of the day, you know what? For me, it has always been, um, look, my background is, you know, I read your story not too long ago, and my background is almost similar to yours, because I grew up in Alsis, you know, when I was so small, and then it was tough, bro. Like, I grew up in Alsis, you know, and then it was tough. Um, grew up in a tough, tough, tough life. It was tough for me as well. But in life, I was given an opportunity by some people whose house I was working at. Because I used to work on the, you know, like the cleaning gutters for the rich people. <laughs> Yeah, you know, those roofs that goes like that. And then, you know, one of the people there, you know, one of the uh, people over there, they, they offered to help me, send me back to school. And I was like 19, 20, or, you know, like, I can't go back to school, I'm telling you, but they offered, you know, to pay for me to go back to school. And, you know, I finished school, um, you know, and they sent me to college as well. And then, sure. uh, you know, the, yeah, so That's then, important. you know, they, they told me that, um, and then I said, you know what, one day I would like to repay back everything that you guys have done for me. And the thing that they told me that was like, um, we don't want you to to repay us back. Just go and do it for someone else. So for that, that's my reason for doing this because uh, so I'm just giving back because I was given a, a second chance in life uh, where I was, that's you know, a I was great way to honor them. Yeah. So. So, um, so, 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 so I'm giving back again. I'm, I'm not Oprah Winfrey or associated with Oprah in any way, but this is just me giving back. And I know there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people, even through your common sense, and I know people complaining about the people. Now there's a lot of people out there that genuinely deep down inside of them wants to trade, want to learn how to trade, but they keep getting fucked over by this guy or by that guy, even that guy that threatened you. Oh, well, gee, you know, I'll fucking grab my face, bro. You must come here to, you must come to Cape Town. We can tie him. One thing, um, I, okay, one thing I always say, one thing I always say is, as Cape Townians, we don't always, we don't always react to that nonsense. But when we see you for the first time, 
bro. That emotion plays up and you must <laughs> you are going to be you're going to be forced to keep that same energy. So, I don't care about these guys threats me bro. Um I've gotten the death threats. I've gotten um, uh, my address sent to me and stuff like that. Yeah. But um at the end of the day, as long as what we are doing makes a positive change in the world, um, yeah. I've done my part. I've done my part like 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 um 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 like Kendrick Lamar says in Don't Pray for Me. If yeah. I got to be a sacrifice for the greater good, then that is what it's got to be. Thank you so I much mean, for your who, time, bro, Roland. Yeah. I mean, who link, else can do this? I'm going to link your disc- your um your groups below so that people get into contact with you. I'm going to yeah. also um post your material to the community tab on YouTube and to my Instagram yeah. so that people can join in on this free movement so that they can at least have a few points of reference where yeah. they can make decisions from when it comes yeah. to the market and more importantly when it comes to mentorship um to the scammers so yeah. thank Fuck you scammers. so much dude <laughs> no problem thank you so much for your time and thank you for for, for spending some time with me on the call i really appreciate it right now it's a pleasure man it's a pleasure right. please send me those links now i'll send it where you want me to send it to you on telegram yeah. on telegram send it to me on telegram All right, cool. I just need to stretch my legs, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bye, bro. Right. We'll talk again. No problem. Thank Cheers. you. Yes.